I've had several people emailing me asking how to use a SMART goal form, and I am going to meet with the elementary staff on Wednesday this week, but I did want to give a little video with steps that I use so that it, you have something to reference other than our meeting. I'm going to go from a form that I used last week with my students, and I'm going to go to classwork because that's how it was assigned to them and I'm gonna click in to view it here. I'm gonna go to responses, and right here is where I'm gonna take it to sheets so that I can edit it to use in my SMART goal form. So I already linked this, but I was gonna show you the steps for that, so I'll do another one to show you the steps for that. So I haven't linked these yet. So this was my part two, because my form, my benchmark is too big to fit into one day. So we split it up. So in my responses, I'm gonna go to my sheet. Now, the one that I created, I changed the name for the school year. So 1920 Algebra One Tests. What I'm gonna do this time is I'm gonna choose an existing sheet. And it's gonna give me my recent ones here, and I just created this one. So I'm gonna link it to that and it's automatically gonna take me to it. So this form one, I just double click and I change the name of it. So I'm gonna call this uh, pre-benchmark and I like to put the date with it. So it was on eight. And it's part one. And so I have these additional tabs. So I would go ahead and take uh, part three and put it in here as well because it all combines to be one score for me. Now yours probably won't be as, as complicated if you've kept it in one day's worth of stuff, um, but I have to combine mine so I have to put things together. So I'm just gonna change the name of this. One thing I wanna point out is in the SMART goal template, okay, so when you put information in here, you can copy it straight from your sheets that you've created. Um, the only thing that you have to be aware of is that in here, you don't wanna type like 15%, okay? Instead, you wanna just say 15. And because I put the percent, it's gonna, so let's say you accidentally do put the percent, you can change that just by going up here and clicking right here, automatic. So you can change the formatting here based on what you do. So if I accidentally put 50%, See, it still says that it's red, but a 50 isn't still in the red, so I've, I need to just change this so that it's automatic, and I wanna change it so that it's a 50, not a 0.5. And so now it's gonna populate correctly. You can see that Forms exports this as a fraction, and we don't want it to be a fraction. We want it to be that whole number. So I'm gonna just click the, the top one, and I'm gonna scroll down, and I'm gonna shift, click the last one, and then I'm gonna change it to automatic and that changed it to just that whole number for me. So um, for those of you that do not have multiple sessions you're putting together, at this point, all you have to do is, excuse me, right click, insert one to the left, and then it doesn't look like it's there because these um, email addresses are so long. And I'm gonna put in a formula, okay? So the formula is going to be parenthesis, oh, excuse me, equal to parenthesis, the score, so out of 25, so that's gonna give me the percentage that I want, but I don't want it, see, so it's already telling me right here, this person has a 16% or a 0.6, but I want it to be a whole number, not a percentage or decimal, so I'm gonna say times, which is the asterisk, 100. So it's gonna give me that 16, that's the number that I wanna work with, and then all I have to do is drag it down all the way to the bottom. So now I have those, this would be the percentages, okay? So if I had these, uh, I wanna sort them so that they're alphabetical and so it's the same every time. So I'm gonna click on A at the top here and then I'm gonna scroll to the very last question and I'm gonna shift click this and I'm gonna turn on the filter. I can do that two ways. I can do that by clicking here and creating a filter or you can go to data, create filter. Either one gets you the same thing. So then I like to sort them by last name and by period. So you can see I have multiple periods here. Um, so I can sort them alphabetically, A to Z. So this is alphabetically for my whole group. Now if you have multiple groups, um, 
you can then sort so that your periods are in order as well. So it's alphabetical, but it's also by period. So this is my fourth period class in alphabetical order. And then once I get to the end, I have my seventh period class in alphabetical order. And so then all you have to do is copy and paste it over. So if I copy, so let me say that again. So click and then scroll down, shift click to the last one that I want. I'm gonna go control C is copy. And then I'm gonna go to my smart goal template and I'm going to control shift V, which is just gonna do it as plain text, okay? So that puts all of their names in there for me. Um, I did have a couple of kids who double submitted this, but I'll deal with that later. Um, <clears throat> so then all I wanna do is put their scores in. These scores are already in the order that I want them to be in, so I'm gonna Let's say it again, click, scroll down, shift, click, control C, copies it. And then I go back to my smart goal template to where I wanna be and I wanna do a control shift V, which places them as um, numbers only. So you can see, ooh, these are ugly scores for the first time. Okay, so you can see all of that. And then here, the numbers are already there for you. It is the first quarter. The date of this assessment was 8 23 um, There are five in, five out skills on it, which I probably should have called this something else since we've changed it to priority, but you all know what that means. Um, this is, I'm just gonna call this my benchmark because I'm not assessing one specific skill here, right? And this is the pretest. So now I can sort them based on their scores. Don't show me this again, okay. So I can sort them low to high, or I can sort them high to low, so I can see who my top kids were, um, whatever you wanna do, okay? So let's pretend, I'll delete this when I'm done. So let's pretend that I have multiple tests here, okay? So this one, um, I'm going to insert a column, and I'm gonna make it so I can see it. These scores are fractions, and I don't want them to be fractions because it's gonna mess it up. So I'm gonna click, shift, click, and I'm gonna change it to automatic, which is gonna get rid of the fraction for me. Equals, parentheses, equals this cell, whoops, parentheses, this cell divided by 10, close it up, times 100, okay? There we go. I don't know what I did. Scroll down, done. So there are my percentages for that one. So then all I would have to do is make sure that these are in the same order. So I click, scroll all the way over to the last question, shift click, turn on my filter, scroll back over, and I filtered them by last name and by period. So this is fourth period, then seventh period. Then all I have to do is click, scroll down, Shift click, shift click, control copy. So I'm copying this column and then I'm gonna go over here, click on that cell where I wanna paste it, control shift V. So now these look really bad. It's not a great uh, comparison. And like I said, I had several kids who accidentally double submitted. Um, so I need to go through and delete some of those extras and they will line up. The key to this is making sure that um, you have them sorted the same way. If you have a new student, make sure that you add them in here. So let's say that um, these are in alphabetical order by last name. I didn't put the periods in here, I should have. Let's do that really quickly. So sort it by last name is how I had it. And so this is alphabetical order. I'm gonna take the period that they're in and I'm gonna copy those over. So click, shift, click, control C, copies that column. I'm gonna go back to my smart goal template and I'm just gonna control shift V and it's gonna paste it as it is. So now I can sort by last name, sort by period, and it's gonna line them up to how they did, okay? So if you have a new student, so let's say I get a new Dotson kid and I wanna put them in here, I'm gonna click here, I'm gonna hit right click, insert one above, and then I can just enter their name, so Dotson, Nathan, he's a fourth period, done. 
So there'll be some blanks for this individual because they weren't here at the beginning, but that's okay. All right. So I just wanted to go through some of that with you. Very simple. Um, it's just, it's going to take a little bit of getting used to, but once you have it, it's all done right there for you. So if you have questions, please feel free to email me.